Hey everyone and welcome to the third annual Fright Night. Happy Halloween. Welcome to night number 13 and we're ending this with 2022's Halloween Ends. So this is the final installment within this particular trilogy that's been going on. I did end up watching this in theaters. I wanted to watch it on Peacock because it is streaming on Peacock as well because I did not want to spend my money on this. But this movie came out when I was on vacation and Peacock is not supported in Mexico. What's to happen between Michael and Lori? You know, time has passed. I can't remember how many years have passed uh, technically from when um, Halloween ends, kills. Oh Lord, I'm gonna mess this all up. But when Halloween kills finished to this one, some time had passed already. Of course, you're at the end. Uh, Michael got burned. And let me pause this real quick right here. I do not review any of the previous Halloween movies. I think I may have talked about Halloween kills in the October wrap up. I think so. I think that's where you can find my very quick, quick thoughts about uh, the movie. There are people who love it. There are people who hate it. There are people who just don't really care. One of the funny things I have been noticing is that you either love kills, hate ends, or you love ends and hate kills. Uh, now, which one do I fall in? I fall within the ends. I actually prefer and like this one way over evil dies tonight. Evil dies tonight. Oh my god. Of course this movie does have its issues. I'm not gonna say it's perfect because it's far from it. And of course I get the reason why you hate it because of there at the end of what happens. Overall I did enjoy it way more than kills and I guess because I'm not like a huge fan of you know this beloved franchise I'm kind of like just in between in the middle uh about the movie just generally and yesterday um we were actually talking about it with um my friends and <laughs> it seems like i was disliking it just a little bit more uh because my friend was just like she did not like this movie at all and i'm like you know what I, it was okay and then we had somebody else who were like yeah they've never seen any of the other halloween movies and enjoyed this movie it's kind of funny that this is the one that she ended up watching i will say that it did take a long time to really get to where it needed to go through you know that whole love story i really wasn't here for it as well because yeah i really know how i am with unnecessary love stories because they could have just been like a friendship i haven't seen any reviews on this movie just because you know i really don't like to see them hold on let me like coco because she's about to start barking okay coco kind of knocked down things and i don't know my life situation so yes i don't watch any reviews until after i do my review just to make sure i don't kind of get influenced by what other people say but i did see a live discussion about this uh but it was just to support my friend ralph at horror and coffee if you guys don't check him out definitely do i'll link that uh live down below so you can check it out but one of the things that he did mention i was like you know what i totally agree that if we had had the character of cory from the halloween was it 2018 or whenever that came out and really have just seen his story develop within the three movies to lead up to this then that would have been way better and obviously would have been more of a payoff because we would have seen his progress um even if he was like um like, even if he was like a side character within one and two you really have just seen his downfall within everything because you really don't officially see i feel the downfall i mean you do see it but it's not like it's done really quickly you know it's like i really would have liked to have seen it within the two movies that would have been better actually i don't even think i've seen the 2018 if there is it a 2018 whatever the first one because within it's a deck technically it's like a trilogy of, oh i was gonna wear my sexy costume for y'all okay hold on let me go let me go put that on Sexy mama, who is she? Oh, I hope that the, the little fan from this thing isn't super nice. We're, it's okay, we're gonna finish it up really quick. I dug how it ended, cause I'm just like, okay. I won't spoil it cause you've never seen it, but I totally understand people being super upset because of that. And maybe because of how they handled Michael's thing, maybe there could have been different circumstances for Corey. Because, you know, kind of a legacy to continue. But at the same time, I really wasn't here for Corey as a full-on villain. Just kind of get such an iconic character ends up being, I feel like, a joke at the end of the day, to be honest with you, as time does progress. I just don't like a lot of what they do with these villains. Ultimately, they end up being a joke. In my personal opinion, of course, they just end up making a mockery of it and it's kind of sad for the hardcore fans 
of these characters that there were ones is very scary deal this one's very like you know and then at the end they're just kind of like living underground in a sewer half Freddy Krueger is she and then kind of gets beat up overtaken by this Corey but yeah those are just kind of like my quick overall thoughts on Halloween ends I left the theater content enough with it I I wasn't like oh my god like I, I no it wasn't like all that but again I do respect and understand the hatred for those who just absolutely hate it. And again, I understand and respect for those who love the movie because they do have some really valid points as well. If you haven't already, don't forget to give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any more. Well, 13 Nights of Fright is done, but so you don't miss any more of my videos. And at the end of the day or the end of the night, I am going to be giving Halloween ends a small popcorn. Small with the Coke. I'll be generous enough with it because, of course, it is not a perfect movie. I don't claim for it to be. All right, guys, that is it for me tonight. Thank you so much if you joined me throughout the entire 13 nights of fright. This is the third annual one, as stressful as it is, as much as, and even though I was very prepared for it this year because I was gonna be taking a vacation at the beginning of it, um, I still kind of ended up stressing it. Uh, towards the end because I still needed a couple of movies to watch and everything but I enjoy these so so much um, again this is the only time of year that I do any kind of like consecutive videos like this uh, so if you are new just don't be afraid you're not going to be seeing things like that from me uh, again I don't do like the 12 days of Christmas or 25 days of Christmas or anything like that Usually Christmas time is just like a whole video of whatever it may be. I think this year I'm gonna end up doing maybe like 12 movies that it, like 12 Christmas movies I've never seen before. Until next time, I'll see you guys at concessions. Happy Halloween. Be safe everybody. Bye. Okay. <laughs> All right.